Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Frisch's Big Boy, or Big Boy. Uh, this is what the restaurant looks like here in our location. It's raining outside, so there's a little bit of rain on the window. But um, yeah, I've already ordered online, and I'm just going to run in and pick it up, and uh, I'll be back to let you know what I got. Okay, so here's what I got. I'll, I'll tell you in details, but it's turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy, cranberry sauce and a roll, and I got a, um, I can't remember what it's called, pumpkin something. I'll tell you in the details uh, when I get it turned around, the camera turned around, but looks okay. It, it looks um, it looks like diner food, which is fresh as, is kind of like diner food anyway. So, um, so yeah, it looks pretty, it looks okay. It smells good. Um, so I'm going to get the camera turned around and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about what, what I got and we'll try it out. Okay, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone that celebrates Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then happy Thursday. Um, hope you're having a great day. Uh, so uh, if you are celebrating Thursday, I mean uh, Thanksgiving on a Thursday and you're watching this, um, hopefully you're with uh, family and friends. If not, hopefully you're enjoying a good meal. Um, that's what I'm going to do right now, hopefully. Hopefully. Cross my fingers. Um, so I've got my fork here. They did give me two forks, which is nice. So what I got was the um, the turkey dinner. It is sliced turkey. You get stuffing, which the turkey was laying on top of. You get the turkey gravy, which is on top of it. A cranberry sauce, which is in that little cup. It looks like a, a little blob of cranberry sauce. And you get a roll. The roll, yeah, it's not too bad. It's kind of a, it's like it's out of a pan that you buy at the grocery store, honestly. And for a side, you can get, you had a couple different options. So you could get french fries, onion rings, mac and cheese, which I thought about coleslaw you can get a tossed salad you can get steamed broccoli because you know i'm not going to get that and you can get mashed potatoes with brown gravy which is what i got the mashed potatoes with brown gravy um the turkey dinner was ten dollars and 99 cents which isn't too awfully bad for what you get and then the dessert was pumpkin spice caramel cake i couldn't remember what it was called pumpkin spice caramel cake and it was four dollars and 99 cents so 10.99 and 4.99 plus whatever tax you have in your local area so um so yeah so I'm going to try the, I'm going to try the potatoes first because they tend to get cold faster and they just made this. So if it's not hot, then I'll just know that their food is just not hot. So here we go. Not bad. It's, it's not like piping hot, but it's not, it's not cold either. It's, it's hotter than room temperature for sure. Um, also notice they, instead of getting it on styrofoam, which I'm fine with, I'd rather than not use a bunch of styrofoam that's going to go into a landfill and sit there for a hundred years anyway. Um, they gave me like a, a paper tray and a paper box. So it is what it is. Mashed potatoes aren't bad. They have a, um, a decent texture. It's actually, they're not pasty like a, like an instant potato is. They taste like actual mashed potatoes. Um, they even have a little, um, I won't say chunks because that sounds bad. It, it, they've got um, not fully mashed pieces of potato, which I'm fine with. That tells me that they're not just from a mix, um, like a powdered mix. Of course, it still might be, but um, it doesn't seem like it is. It's pretty good, pretty good mashed potatoes. So let me try a little bit of the, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try some of the stuffing first. Okay, there's what it looks like. It looks like a, like a bread type stuffing, not a cornbread type. Definitely a bread stuffing. Cornbread has a little bit more of a, you know, that gritty cornbread texture, whereas this is more um, of the bread texture, which I'm fine with. I prefer cornbread stuffing, but I don't mind um, the bread stuffing. You can see it's kind of, it's a little dry. I won't say it's like dry like the desert, but it but it is a little dry. It's not um it's not as moist as it could be. Let's put it that way. Let me try some of the turkey. I think the the stuffing I think it would benefit from a little bit more gravy. I mean what does it benefit from a little bit more gravy? Let's be honest. I like the stuffing. I really do. I just think it's a little, um, the texture is a little, since it's, a, it's not really a moist, since it's bread, it makes it a little bit more pasty. 
and since it doesn't have like extra gravy it makes it a little um a little pasty and dry filling mm. flavors are okay the seasonings they've got nice um yeah they've got a nice layer of uh, sage in there and um you know salt and pepper and stuff like that so i think you do definitely get the sage though so if you don't like sage dressing then or stuffing you wouldn't like that but yeah you get you get the sage for sure the turkey's nice it's a nice thick slice of turkey you can see how thick it is moist and tender it really is um a decent slice of turkey now i prefer um like this is just sliced turkey i'd rather have it like breaded and fried just personally but i don't mind the the sliced turkey that would be what you consider more of a like a traditional sliced turkey you would get if you were eating thanksgiving dinner you know there's no crispy skin on it um and there's actually two slices there's a thin slice and a thicker slice um on on the bottom uh, it's not bad it's it's no different honestly than if you went to the grocery store and bought a package of of uh, deli sliced turkey kind of thick sliced it's no different than that and then you heated it up in uh i mean literally you could have thrown it in the microwave and heated it up and it would be uh, about the same temperature wise because it's not it's not hot by any means, um, but it's not like ice cold either. It's not like they took it straight out of the refrigerator. Not bad. I wish they gave you a knife though, um, cause you really need a knife to cut the turkey. I'm kind of pulling it apart with my fork. The best part of all three of those is the potatoes. <laughs> Mashed potatoes are really, really good. Let me try the roll. Like I said, this looks like a... I mean, that's like... Uh, wow. That was like pulling foam rubber apart or something. That is the crappiest roll I have ever had in my life. Good God. Now I know how they make bouncy balls. Little rubber bouncy balls. They take these Frisch's rolls and roll them up in balls and just give them to kids and let them bounce them around in the house. That's horrible. It's horrible, horrible roll. Um, well, you saw me trying to pull it apart. I wasn't active. That was literally how hard it was to pull apart. Uh, it's so dry and so stale that, that that's how hard it is to pull apart. Anyway, that's hilarious. That, I don't know why. I, I worked in restaurants I know restaurants are a challenging job and they are it's it's tough working in restaurants but I had quality in the products that I was putting out for my customers and I would never ever in my life have given a customer a roll that felt like that I just wouldn't have I would have told the manager these rolls are stale I'm not serving them and if they made me do it then that was their call and it wasn't my fault but um, yeah, I would never serve a roll like that. That's awful. Um, it just looks bad on them as a company when they're selling, when they're giving you rolls like that, because it's they're really not good at all. I mean, it's uh, it's not even worth the calories of trying to pull it apart. You burn as many calories pulling it apart and chewing it as you would eating it. Cranberry sauce. I can just tell you honestly, I'm not a huge cranberry sauce person. Oh, that's not bad. It's very tart like cranberry should be. I'm gonna pull a, a piece of turkey off. Like I said, they should have given me a knife, but they didn't. So I'm like stabbing this turkey to death until it just separates. I can tell you my experience here is greatly different than other places I've been for Thanksgiving. I can just tell you that right now. I like the other place better. And I'll say where it's at at the end. Okay, I got me a little piece of turkey. I'm gonna get me a little piece of cranberry sauce. Because I know that's how a lot of people eat their cranberries is with their with their turkey, like that. Hmm. That's good. It adds a little bit of a 
like a tangy, sharp, kind of tart flavor. And then you get that, the turkey has a kind of a, a meaty flavor. Like, I like that. I like it with the turkey quite a bit, actually. It makes the turkey almost sweet. But I would never eat cranberry sauce traditionally. All right. So the roll scores a zero. So we will... We won't even consider the roll as part of this because it was awful. Well, I'm not consider it because I'm going to mention it and say it sucked. Um, but the the stuffing itself is okay. Uh, the stuffing is fine. It's it's nothing. It's a bread stuffing. Again, I'd rather have cornbread personally, but bread stuffing, I usually like bread stuffing, but this is a really dense, thick, pasty kind of stuffing because it doesn't have enough moisture in it. The moisture in it, and it needs, like I said, it needs more gravy. They could have put a lot more gravy on, on honestly, everything. The, uh, the turkey's good, but again, it's no different than if you literally had bought, gone to Walmart or Kroger, gone to their deli area, Meyer, wherever, and told them, I want some of that turkey, <laughs> and, you know, roasted turkey, and slice it about this thick, and I want five slices of it, or six or a pound, or whatever, and it would have been just as good as that turkey. This turkey doesn't have anything special going on it. The gravy, honestly, it could have been out of a jar. It literally is nothing special either. It's good, it's just not special. The potatoes, the potatoes were actually good. I could eat, if, that, if I were to, if you were to ask me, what did you really like out of that whole meal? I would have said the mashed potatoes and the gravy because I love a good mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, the, the potatoes by themselves, I don't think I'd want to eat the potatoes by themselves. I know some people don't like gravy. Um, the potatoes by themselves are, are okay. They're just kind of plain. You really, to get a really good flavor out of them, you have to have, uh, you have, to have the gravy. Hmm. So for this meal, you know, is it a horrible meal except for the roll? It's not a horrible meal. It's just not one I would necessarily come back and get again. I really wouldn't. Um, everything here is just, just okay. So I would probably give this meal, and again, I don't rate, um, I don't rate out to eat meals low usually very often, but this is a three meal. This is just an average everyday kind of blah uh, meal. It's really nothing special. It's nothing um, really super flavorful. Um, the most flavorful thing in there was the mashed potatoes and gravy, and that's saying something. <laughs> the most flavorful thing you have is mashed potatoes and gravy, when it should have been the stuffing and the uh, the turkey and the gravy and stuff like that. It should have been those items. It just wasn't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of five on the Frisch's turkey dinner. At least at my Frisch's big boy, that's what I got. Um, excuse me. I would recommend, I said I would mention the other place first. Let me get a drink too. Um, Cracker Barrel has a fried turkey. Awesome. It is awesome. Um, you know, if you really want to go out to eat uh, for a Thanksgiving type dinner, go to Cracker Barrel. It's awesome. It's also probably more calories, honestly, but but uh, the food is just really, really good at Cracker Barrel. All right, so now for this pie or this cake, it looks like, I didn't write down what it was, but it looks like it's got caramel sauce on the that was poured over top of it. It's a it's a kind of a thick caramel sauce. And they gave me a couple pieces of a spicy looking pumpkin cake. And it's got something in the middle that kind of looks like ice cream. Hmm. I think I'm tasting caramel, hold on. Yeah, it's ice cream. Okay. So what, what would happen if you were going home with this and you didn't put it in the freezer. I guess it just all melt all over the place. I don't know. It's not melted so far. I've been sitting here for, what, 13 minutes and it hasn't melted so far. So there, there you go. I like the caramel sauce. It's, um, it's not your traditional, like, um, like ice cream caramel sauce. It's not that kind of sauce. It's a little bit runnier and softer. Uh, than what you would get out of a jar. It's it's not quite that thick, but it's nice. It has a nice sweet uh, caramel flavor. Now, I like the ice cream. It adds a creaminess to this, a little bit um, more moisture. Not that it needs any moisture in the cake, honestly. The cake is actually pretty decent. And I like the layer of spice they put in there. You can definitely tell 
It is a pumpkin spice kind of um, cake. You can see, I love the huge bites. Mm. I really do like that cake. It's really nice. Um, so this, I would probably give... I'd probably give that a four and a half. The, um, the slices are nice. They're a little... They're a little strong as far as the, the pumpkin spice goes. But if you like a, a good strong pumpkin spice, it's stronger than like you would get in a, a pumpkin pie or even a, a pumpkin spice latte. Or, you know, it's a stronger spice than that. Um, you really get that um, nutmeg kind of gives you, and ginger gives you a little burn in the back of your throat. But um, but overall, uh, compared to the meal, uh, this, pot, this pie, uh, this cake would be like, wow, the heads and the shoulders above the meal. definitely good and i like it that it comes with ice cream i thought i love ice cream anyway and um like i said it just adds a creamy texture to the to the cake um really softens it up again my only worry would be if you're traveling a little ways with this it may melt unless it's that kind of ice cream that just never melts it just sits there and gets warmer but it never actually melts so uh, it could be that kind of ice cream i don't know it is melting a little bit it's i can see it getting softer on the edges but um it's not really like runny like um, like most of the time you get a bowl of ice cream, a really good ice cream, and even after, you know, just a couple of minutes, you see it's already melted in the bottom of the bowl. This is not like that. This has been sitting, like I said, for at least 10 minutes, and it hasn't it hasn't really moved at all. But um, I do like the flavor. I like the texture of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a, like a four and a half out of five because I really do like this dessert. Probably would have given it a five if the pumpkin spice had been toned down just a hair. But um, but yeah, the 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 cake is good. The meal's horrible. Well, don't horrible. It's just okay. Um, it's just everyday average meal. Um, you're better off just getting a frozen dinner. I hate to say that, but that's just the truth. Just get a turkey dinner from the store because uh, the grocery store because the frozen version of those are just as good, if not better, in the stuffing department than that thing was. So, go figure. Um, or go to Cracker Barrel if you want to really want to get a good turkey uh, dinner. So anyway, hope you have a great day. Again, have a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving or have a great Thursday if you only celebrate Thursday. And I'll take, catch you next time. I just happened to, I'll come back real quick. Um, I just happened to see a sign that says, let us cook your Thanksgiving feast. It's like $89. Don't do it. If it's the same thing as I just got, uh, definitely don't do it. Especially if you get those rolls, you'd be throwing them at each other for a food fight. Um, you'd be hurting each other. Uh, yeah, $89 for, for what I just got. I think it's for four people and you get like two sides and... Um, yeah, the mashed potatoes were good. Dressing was eh. Turkey was eh. Okay. I mean, like I said, go, go buy, buy a pound at the deli. Um, it's probably better anyway. So anyway, I would skip it.